recording. Hey, welcome to the Musitude stream. So it's a late night stream, as the title says, and uh, just been chatting to the other guys on the different social networks. Good thing about um, YouTube not streaming right now is that I'm forced to record it, which I would do anyway. And that way you get to watch it at 1080p or, or is it 1440p. And so, um, so I, I, can, I can record in high resolution, but I can't stream above 720 yet. All right. So my tradition when I get started is to jump right in and play a piece of music. I'm going to do a bit more chatting about um, about the plans for the stream and for the setup. Let's, ju let's just have a quick look though on Discord because uh, we're growing we're growing a little bit on Discord. Isn't really anybody streamer mode is enabled. Stay safe, friend. Not quite sure what that means yet on Discord. Always looks it always looks alarming. So as you can see here, we've got um, oh we've got over a hundred hundred people now on the Discord. Hundred is not massive, but considering we didn't have any just a month or so ago, it's pretty cool. And um, not only that, but the magic of pressing this button here, look what happens. It's on time. Facebook comes up, the Music Dude Facebook page. So we have currently 22,000 followers on Facebook. In fact, I'm going to do a little announcement. Live streaming now. Live streaming now on Facebook. Let's just say and Twitch. Drop by the stream and say hello. Boom. That's pretty cool. Twenty-two thousand. Thousand was twenty-two thousand. Uh, come on. There it is twenty-two thousand followers on uh, Facebook. Pretty good. So we should be able to get some. Uh, some views building up after a while. Got five now, but I think three or four of them are me. Um, all right. So anyway, let me just do another message on Twitch. On oh, not Twitch, Discord. Boom. Minimize that. Minimize that. Yeah, YouTube. I'll just cancel that out. All right, so the plans are for me to play a little piece now. Then following that, I am going to do some composing, not, not composing, transcribing. Let me just show you something cool though, by the way, before I go any further. So here I've got on the stream deck, I can, I can go to this view. I can show this angled view here. Just me, Big Pete talking to the screen. So it's the uh, me and the, and the top down, me and the angle, me and the big feet. The bigger top down, bigger angle, full screen top down, full screen angle. And uh, if I want to show you just the desktop. But what I figured out was while I'm playing, look what I can <clears throat> look what I can do. While I'm playing, I can be playing away. Let me just play some, some pieces here. Oh, look at that. My hands didn't move. Well, my hands didn't move and the angle changed. Yeah, go back to this one. I bought some foot pedals. Foot pedals and I assigned them to hotkeys and assigned the scenes to the hotkeys. So now while I'm playing, I can vary the view. All right, um, let me just quickly check. Because I don't keep the headphones in, it might be annoying because the system sound is fine. Might be annoying because I might sometimes forget to turn down the music. But jump in chat and tell me if I do. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can do this. This is the first time I've ever played a piece live and alternated foot pedals. I'm going to use my right foot. Okay, here we go. Um, actually, I'm going to use the headphones because I need to listen while I play. I might experiment with running it on the 
running it on the speakers to see if that causes interference. Here we go. I'm going to play part one. The computer is going to play part two. This is what the computer one would sound like. It's guitar. I'm playing part one. Piano instrument selected. And I'll leave the track on so you can follow along. There. <clears throat> All right. Um, what do I want to go to there? Yeah, I want to assure you that I can play that piece practically flawlessly. But um, this is the first time I've ever <laughs> live streamed playing a piece while also feeling for the foot pedals. Where are they? Under the desk. There's three of them. Making sure I've got the right one and tapping it with my foot while I'm trying to tap with the other foot to keep the beat. No excuses, but anyway, it will get better. I won't um, flub in the notes anytime there. So that, that was cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with using those foot pedals. Change the views. I think it, it adds a lot of variety and it, make, it just makes it a bit more interesting to see the different the different views edit in like that. Like there's some a second person doing it. Alrighty then. So um, this is Stream Deck. I can bring it into view. That I use. Oh, oh yeah, to be using. Oh, this is the actual stream deck <laughs> to change the view. This is the stream deck that I use for changing the different views, the camera views. But some of them are assigned to the foot pedal, which is pretty cool. And this, this, this is the actual. You know what? I don't need to show you the actual physical unit. Instead. I can show you the software I'm using. This this thing right here is the is the GoXLR. 
which I've got alongside me, which you can't see. I'll untangle the cable next time so I can drag it into the camera. So what I can do is I can move these mics up and down. In fact, if I do it on the physical unit, you can see them moving up and down there. To make the mic sense, volume more sensitive. I can move the system. System means basically that all the sound computer producers, which for this purposes is the, is the musician website. But it, and if I play a YouTube video, it will be that too. And then this one is, um, I guess you can hear music now, right? Can you because why is there no music playing? That's weird. Oh, the piece must have just ended. So yeah, I can adjust that independently. Most streamers like to wear headphones, so it wouldn't be a bit much of a pain. But I don't mind wearing headphones. It's the cables I don't like. So. <clears throat> I do have a, I do have uh, wireless headphones. There's two reasons why I don't want to use them. One is they use a USB dongle and RF to connect, so you can't really do that with your XLR. The other reason is because I don't want big cans on my head for hours on end. That's also annoying. I've been trying to find just kind of little miniature headphones that go on there that are not Bluetooth. Bluetooth is uh, has delay and all sorts of problems. So I'm trying to find those RF in-ear headphones. Surprisingly, hard to find. Well, even those wrap-around ones, little ones that you have. As long as it doesn't have a cable where I'm just getting tugged on by the cable all the time. Anywho. Hmm. It says on the... Are you hearing anything? Hmm. Why does it say on here can't play the current song obviously it can anyway alrighty so uh well, I'm streaming fine on all these platforms oh somebody clicked like I think if you're watching on Facebook come by and it was, it was just type something into chat because it'll appear in the restream multi chat I'm using. Why is this still up? All right. Let's have a look at the duets. I always go to the duets. There's lots of uh, single pieces as well. Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful what I play because there's a lot of DMCA issues these days. Game of Thrones. Now this one's a bit of a challenge. All right, let me explain something here. Like if I, if you see these dots at the bottom of the screen, it just means this extends to more than one page. And if I want to turn the page, I press Enter and delete or backspace to go back. Well, backspace, but this keyboard has combined backspace and delete. See, I forgot to do that as well. You know what, you know what I'd like to do actually? I'd like to put this monitor here above that monitor. I'm always looking at the website monitor, but I'm always, instead of my peripheral vision, I've got my, my upper vision. I think I will do that actually. I could use my iPad to do it actually. I could just stream it onto my iPad and have that up there. Actually, that's a good idea. Flip it on the shelf, have the iPad hanging down. Then play the stream on the iPad. How much delay is the let's, let's have a look. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's, it's quite a long delay. Anywho, so yeah, this, this piece is quite long. So. I'm going to give it a shot, turn down the music, put the headphones in. This, this, is, this is quite fast. Uh, let's see if I can keep up. Thank you. 
no. Sorry, I was focusing on changing the. Note to self, if I'm learning a new skill like using the foot pedal to edit, don't play a fast moving piece. Well, let's try one more. Get this in the center. Okay. All right. Okay, this is a piece that I, I'm proud to say I transcribed. Don't make this bigger. What if it's like that? See, if it's like that, I'm blocking, blocking it off a little bit, but that's fine. <clears throat> Again, it's to do it. Part one, there's part two. There we go. I'm going to replay that without playing footsie with the pedals just to prove that I can play this piece. <laughs> All right, well, I felt a bit confident there. I felt a bit confident that I could uh, change change the views when I hit a long note. So that's cool. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at uh, a few of our users' social media. 
we just had a look at the uh I have a really fast internet connection, but <laughs> for some reason. We said look at the Facebook. I mean, if we have a look at the YouTube channel. Way 45 subscribers. So we got up about 15 subscribers in the last few weeks. That's cool. If you're not subscribed already to the YouTube channel, one thing I can't stand is people who do videos and they spend the first third of the video trying to convince people to subscribe. I'll just say it. If you're not subscribed, jump on the YouTube channel, Musitude, give us a sub. And uh, some of this video I'm doing tonight will end up on there because I am recording. Well, I'm just... Am I recording? Yes. So, um, yeah, we've got some some cool videos on there. We're getting a bit of traction on the views. This one's got 14,000 views. It's uh, Annie, who used to work with Musitude, playing Beethoven's Sonata Pathetic, which is the very first music piece that was ever transcribed into Musitude. And then there's a live stream I did, which is split up into two because it was quite long, two hours. Also, this second part was transcribing. And I'm getting better and better and better at transcribing. But that was done quite slow. Uh, and yeah, we've got some, some other videos we made on the first building and startup. What else have we got? Oh yeah. We've got Musitude Twitter. Account 79 followers. Yay. Wow, we're there live. Yeah, I've seen the start playing. That shirt really looks orange, doesn't it? I swear. I mean, I am colorblind a little bit, but I swear it's a. Uh, I swear it's a red shirt. Anywho, the Instagram. What's going on in the old Instagram account? 64 followers. Some people like something. When you, yeah, to be honest, I haven't uh, uh, updated too much on Instagram. I'm gonna, gonna get on that more. Now, this is what we call the Music Shoot back end. So, all the music you see on Music Shoot, we actually, we actually upload onto the back end, and it just makes it easy for you to go and grab it and play it. Um, but it needs to be transcribed. It needs, to, it needs, to, yeah, it needs to be transcribed. So you're gonna, you're gonna see how the sausage is made right now. Let's have a look at the piece that I was planning to transcribe. Do 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 to do. Uh, it's a Purcell piece. There's two pages, this page and that page, that page and this page. Let's do it. So I'll be doing two parts. All right, and this is how it's done. Close that off. And I minimize that a little bit. And what I do is I go to artist rotation new let's move that again just for a moment mm -hmm. title mm -hmm. where's the oh, shift the keys are a bit unusual position on this <coughs> uh in a minor. Oh, wait a minute. Do I already have this one? Let's check. I think I have this piece already. I think I do have it. Another music. Yeah, I think I have this piece already. Let's make that and find another piece. Transcribe. Do it and do. Ah, I know what it is. I do have it, but it's not finished. I didn't do 
part two. See, I did this part. Da, 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 da. So I'm going to do this part, which, gosh, <coughs> that will go very quickly, won't it? Mm. Let me get rid of that. Ignore that. I don't know where the control button is on this keyboard. Air in D minor. <laughs> there it is. And we press L. Air in D minor. There. Yeah, that's right. I only got one. So I click here. New. That's the name. Type. You're at part two, difficulty. I think it's beginner. Play style. Oh. Wow, it's raining. Happy. Instrument, let's discover piano. Aha, uh -huh. key signature. And what key signature is that? That is. One flat, so that's the key of F. Signature is three, that means there's three notes per beat. Hinge three. I'll say one twenty because I think the other's one twenty. Right. So now I just minimize this. I put this on screen and what I have to do, and there's two pages of this, I have to describe these notes to our system. Then save them and the website will just convert them to music notation from this to our notation instantly. So let's start here. And this is how it works. Right. So I've been using flashcards to memorize the note names. So I'm getting there. So this is definitely D. So here. I just write, oh, I need one more thing, by the way. Oh, is it range three? No, it isn't range three, is it? It's range two. Okay, so I have memorized the note names, so I don't need this for the note names. But each note has its own octave. So you see here, I use lowercase letters to indicate this octave. Here I use uppercase letters to indicate this octave, and uppercase with a carrot symbol to indicate the upper octave. I'll move this off to the side. And each range has a different one. So, all right. So, here I'm going. I'm going to do this note, which is D. So the D at that point is still lowercase. So I would write D two. Oh, is it D two or is it two D? Let's just have another. Mm -hmm. so look at the notation here. Ah. Uh, so it's actually two D. 
face. The next note along is a Two is it? It's one, one beat, one a space, then one uppercase D. I just indicate it is a D, but it's in the next octave up. Okay. And we go here. Okay, so these notes all have a B flat, but I don't need to flatten the B because I've done it in the key signature here. But here is a what's it called? A mod modifier. So here it's saying C, but it wants me to sharpen the C. So the next note is going to be like this. One. C. Plus. Plus means sharp. Okay. And then here, this is a B. And you see here it says I should a B should be flat. And this is saying, no, don't do it flat. On this particular one, just naturalize it. But if I just do wait, one, two, three. If I do one B, I think I just whoa. Okay, no, <laughs> I think I minus it. No, better be at first. One B minus to naturalize it. Mm -hmm -hmm. We'll find out when we play it. And then the next one in this bar is a it's a normal a <coughs> one a one two three on to the next one again one b again it's a c sharp one c sharp And now, hmm, it's interesting. See, it told me to modify it here, usually in music, until you see something to cancel the modification. You just you continue to do that, even if it doesn't show that modification symbol. But here it's saying it's a B, so go back to doing it as a B flat. So what I do is I just go one B. Again, I've set the signature so it knows it knows automatically to make it flat. Flatten it out. All right. One, two, three. And here. Again, this is A. So one, A, space, one, C, sharpen that C, and one G. Only it's not uppercase, is it? It's lowercase. Okay. Wow, it is raining. Okay. Can raise this up. Okay. 
Okay, the next line here. This is one F, one E, one D, one, two, three. Next one is one lowercase C sharp. One, see that's the B, uh, one lowercase b and give it a minus to flatten it, or to naturalize it. And then, so A, one A, one, two, three, one to here, one D, one G, oh, is it? Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I might have to start all over again. I've used I've used range two. I'm running out of notes. There's another note lower than this. I should have used range one. What I should have done is double checked. Live and learn. Live and learn. Where is that folder? Do, 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 do. Wow. Can you hear that rain? I'm going to go and shut the window, although the noise cancelling should cut it out. But it rains on the roof. I mean, you should, should have had music playing. So I don't bore you with my chat. Rains on the roof. So you might be able to hear that. Okay. Scales. Scale by range. See, this is the one I should have been using. Oh! Ah, which means I have to go back and re jimble it. That's okay. The more I do this, the more I'll learn. <laughs> Back to the beginning on here then. All right. I could just try and convert them, but it's just gonna be easy if I just do it like this. Bite the bullet. One. D. One. Oh. Uppercase eight, A and carrot symbol. Again, that carrot symbol is just to indicate which octave it's in. Next one, definitely a D with a carrot symbol. One, two, three, one to here. One C with a carrot symbol and sharpen it with a symbol, plus symbol. One B with the carrot symbol and flatten it. Mm -hmm. And one A with the carrot symbol. One, two, three. So we're catching up quickly. One D. 
cast symbol. One again. C cast symbol. Sharpen it. And one. B carrot symbol. Don't need to flatten it because why is it happening over here? <sighs> oh, I must have pressed the wrong one. B carrot symbol. One, two, three. One. A carrot symbol. One. Oh. No, I press here. You know, I'm so used to typing on my regular keyboard when I play use this fancy one. It makes it a bit um, difficult for me to auto play the keys. One. C. Carrot symbol. And sharpen it. Then one G one two three. Right well, again back on track. There we go. One F one E one D one two three one to here one C sharp. The reason our carrot symbol is because it's now one octave octave lower. One B and right natural, so I don't need to modify it. Oh, well, actually, I do, so I need to do some upage and next is one A, one, two, three. Nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Okay, here. One. D. Next. One. Look at G. One. Okay, one, two, three, one to here, one, D, one, A, one, B, got a new line, Almost there. One F. One C. One obviously F. Three. Where is that? Not in line. Oh, because that's got carrots, so it makes it longer. And capital letters make them longer. I got it. 
I'm down. Okay. Um. P. One. C. One. One D, one A carrot, one B carrot. One, a cat, two, three. For the last line, we go. You know it's a two beat note. So now we say two, G, and one C carrot one two three again two F one B B My best to go. Now we say one G one A carrot one A and finally one D one A and one D B like that. So what do we have here? We have part two of this duet uh, of Aaron D minor, part two, set to beginner level. Let's see if you can see it. If you can see it's set. Yeah, if I just go to edit, which I'm not going to edit, to make sure I've got the same settings. Beginner, beginner, part two. Uh, oh, here I called it stately. It's fine. This doesn't appear anymore, actually, so. Yeah, stately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Then what I do is I create. Boom. Now, turn on the music. Now, what you saw before was just part one, which I will play. I'll have tracking on. Ooh. because I hadn't added part two, but if I refresh, if I, re no, no, what's going on? <laughs> Stop, whatever. If I refresh, you'll see here, the uh, duet option comes up. Hopefully. Boom. Now, there's part one, 
Let's have a look at the part that I just entered, part two. So I added all those parts. <clears throat> and obviously something went wrong here. Let's go and check. That usually implies a syntax error on my part. There. So if I count the notes along, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, the 17th note is in error. See what I did wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, why is that in error then? <clears throat> I don't think I did anything wrong. Let's just get rid of that. If it gets rid of the error, which it does, but however, it's not the correct note because anyway, let's play it, see what happens. Watch this will go away now. There, it's gone. Okay, so I'm going to tell the computer to play part two, and I'm going to play the part I've just played, which is part. Let's have a look at part two actually. Yeah, I'm going to. So I'm going. To, the computer's going to play this part. I'm going to play this part, part one. Let's see if, uh, so the part I've just encoded is part two. Uh, I think one of the, one of the notes is not correct. Talked, talked near. What is that? Somebody from DLive just came on. Oh, for God's sake, how do I delete this tool? Add to block list. Yay! He just blocked my first person. He just came on and put a, a gif on there. Moron. Okay. Is he in? Never mind. He's just just a griefer. All right, here we go. So I'll tell the website to play part two. Auto play so I don't mess it up. See if we can hear a note that sounds odd. Sounded all right, but the issue here is that uh, Purcell's music is sometimes a little bit, <clears throat> not dour, but a little bit melancholy. So let's, let's look for the note. It was 17th note, wasn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17. So it was, so in musitude notation, it would be O. I think it was a B. It was a B in regular music. So let's see if O and W, O, W, let's see if they sound harmonious or if they clash. Doesn't sound right, does it? Let's try P and W. Ooh. Q and W. So what can, what can we, oh. C, D, W, oh, yeah, C, D, W, N. That sounds, it does sound a bit weird, doesn't it? But Purcell does that sometimes. Um, I really should have a note system so I can go and check. All right, boom, note system. Let me get the, keep my usual keyboard over here so I'm quicker typer. Okay. Transcription, notes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, 
it was the 17th note of part two that was the issue, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. All right, so that was K along. Well, I'm, I'm such an idiot. I was thinking this is part two and this is part one, so it was K and seventeen K and O. Do K and O? They clash. Actually, they don't, do they? So I'm going to leave it, but I'm going to make a note that says transcription notes. 17th note of Procell in D. What's the issue exactly? Go back to it. Oh, I've lost it already when I guess I corrected it. Oh! You know, I'm just going to leave it. It's up to the viewers and the users of the site to find errors and report them in the transcription. And then we will correct them, whether they're technical errors or human errors. Let's be honest, it's mostly going to be human error. All right, now let's give this another shot. Well, this time I will play part two. I can reach that six and that six. So I tell the website to play part one because I've got part two up on the screen. with Purcell to tell if the notes wrongly flat or flat or not flat but it should be flat because sometimes his music is a little bit seemingly discordant and seemingly um, sad and dour. If I played something like, uh, where is that Rule Britannia one? Rule Britannia, right? Not being jingoistic here, but if I, if I play something like this, it's part one, part two. You can definitely tell when a note is off on a piece like this because it has such a celebratory, glorious harmonizing that you can just tell when it's off. So here we go. I'm not, I'm not going to change any views while I'm playing this. Now listen again to what it sounds like when I get to here, when I play. And then he plays the harmony part. When, when it hits this, and then part two plays the harmony part, you can really hear that, that beautiful harmony. Again, I'll leave the mouse there. Here we go.
There you go. And with that, we just passed the one hour mark. And um, I'm planning to do a stream every single day for one hour at least. Um, leading up. Well, now I've got pretty much the technology settled. Still a few glitches like YouTube didn't work today, so something's not working perfectly. But um, I want to get into the habit of streaming every day. And I think set a goal of streaming for at least one hour for the next seven days, no matter what, no matter what time. I did a lot of other setup today and a lot of other things to do. And so by the time I was ready to do some streaming, it was already past midnight. But I thought to myself, you know what? Even if nobody watches, even if it's the middle of the night, anyway, it'll be recorded to go on YouTube. Just stream. And then every day, no matter how you're feeling, no matter what other work you've got to attend to, no matter if there's technical problems, like, again, you know, one of the major out outlets, YouTube, wasn't working. I'll fix that. Just stream. So that's going to be my motto for the next week is just stream. And, um, yeah, I'll, uh, the more I do it, I notice, well, the more I get comfortable in dealing with technical problems that come up really quickly. And so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Different color t-shirt every day. The day is red, although it looks orange on the screen. And I've got a George Clooney style floby. Not not really a floby, it's just a buzz cutter. So I'm, I was planning to I was planning to cut my eggs. I like it really short. For some reason I just thought I'll stream with my hair all tufty and long. So the next time it creates a visual difference. I know it's stupid, but there you go. So yeah, jump on um jump on YouTube and give us a, a subscribe. Jump on Twitch and give us a follow. And uh, on Facebook, become a follow. I'll click like and then you'll get notifications. And yeah, jump on our Discord as well. If you go to the website, just here, you can see it. You click that, you'll get an invite to join the Discord. We've just got over 100 people. So it'd be nice to build up a, a community of friends on Discord. People that support each other and encourage each other to practice music. Maybe eventually, if the Discord community gets big enough and you find people are living in, in your town, Nothing cooler than meeting up in a coffee shop once they open up again and um, getting the laptops out, the iPad, the mobile phone, and playing some pieces together. That, that would be really inspiring for me to hear, hear stories about people who just met up through the Discord and formed little groups, maybe little clubs where they play music together. That would be cool. So, okay, I'm, I'm still working on a sign off style or a sign off phrase. Musitude out. Is, has been the placeholder for now, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna end with that, and uh, eventually I'll come, I'll come up with a non-cheesy, cool musicude sign off. So with that, musicude out. Now I'm gonna press this record stop button over here and just press.